Hello everyone, Toy Gal here, and today we will be doing this crystal growing kit. Now this is for ages 10 and up, and they do require adult supervision at all times, but this is the larger kit. There is actually one that's smaller than this that has maybe four crystals in it, I believe, but this is a set of seven crystal, crystal growing things, so. And you can see here all the colors of the crystals that we can make. We can make purple ones, blue ones, red ones, pink, white, Quite a, quite a, you know, array of colors. Here's the back of the box. Here's all the things that we can get. Now you do require a few things for this kit. I don't have a thermometer, but you're gonna need a thermometer. It also gives you uh, times to wait, you know, for, for the water to cool down because you're gonna actually need boiling water to dissolve this uh, crystal compound here. And you're also gonna need a timer uh, to, to time the, you know, for the wait time. And while you wait, they have some fun facts and things like that that you can read, you know, while water boils and things like that. So I have my water boiling right now. And you can see the kit here. This should be a, a relatively easy kit. Their instructions are pretty, uh, pretty in-depth. And they also tell you to, uh, when you open this crystal compound, you're going to want to, you know, make sure you don't get any in your eyes or on your hands, really, because you're going to want to wash your hands when you're, when you're done with this kit. And you're also going to need some sort of tablecloth or uh, mine right now is a sheet on, on, on the table because you're going to have some uh, powders and things everywhere that you don't want to, you know, spread around your house. So we're going to open this and see what's inside. Okay, so here is the equipment that you get with this kit. You get a little mixing bowl to mix your hot water and your seed compound, which is this. This is the compound material. And there's all sorts of information and things on the front here about uh, what kind of chemical this is and stuff like that. These little plastic things are the housings that you're gonna grow your crystals in. Now this kit comes with a large one, two medium ones, and four small ones. So you can grow, you know, one large, two medium, four small crystals. It also comes with this little mixing spoon. This is the spoon you're going to mix your compound in and it, what it's going to use to measure these little seed packets here. Now these are your little crystal seeds. We have red, we have blue, and we have white seeds. So you're going to spoon these with your hot water into this. And it also comes with these handy dandy instructions for growing these crystals. There's everything it comes with. And when we open this up, here are, here are the big instructions. Now the instructions are slightly different for making each kit and it's mainly with how many spoonfuls and how much water you put in. So right here this is for making large crystals. F here is for making the medium sized ones and G is for making these smaller crystals. And when we flip this to the back, here are all the color combinations that we can do. And up here, I was gonna try to make a uh, pink, a pink large crystal with this guy. And then here's all the things for how it works. This is all like your information, how it works, what is crystal climbing, which that's when these little flakes grow around inside here and then form your big crystals. And then here are some fun facts, which we can get into these a little later. But first things first, and I'll have some setup instructions on screen for you guys to view so that this makes it a little easier to follow. So I've got my, my crystals and everything set up. I believe my water up. Oh. You also get these. I'm not sure what these are necessarily for just yet, but hopefully the instructions, you know, talks about what these are. It's these little circular things. It says they're ring-shaped templates. Not quite sure what that means just yet. But I believe my water is boiling, so let's get started uh, making a crystal. So step one, we're going to put our boiling water into this is called the mixing bowl. So we're going to put it in the mixing bowl. We're probably not gonna fill it up all the way, just a little bit. So let's do this. Again, be careful, because this is hot water. Okay, we're probably gonna go to about there. 
And since we're doing a large crystal, which is gonna go into this shape right here, they want us to put in a full bag, one whole bag of these mixing contents right here. So let's do that. Be careful with this. You don't wanna get this everywhere. So we're going to put this in, which is step two, is putting this in right here. And then they want us to stir this. Stir until all the powder has dissolved to make the solution. So let's dump this in here. We've got a little spoon too. Oh, that's a lot. That's why you don't want to fill it all the way because, you know, if you, fill, if you fill this too high with hot water, it's just gonna raise up when you put the rest in. The next step in step two is allow 15 minutes for this to cool. So let's set this for 15 minutes and we will let this solution cool back here. It's pretty dissolved. So now we wait 15 minutes. So we gotta be careful here. There we go. Boy, I dumped in too much. There we go. Fill it, fill it to about this, uh, there's a ridge in here, so fill it to the ridge. So there is that, and now we have to wait another 30 minutes. But while this is going, I'm going to work on getting the, uh, the smaller crystal, or the medium-sized crystals set up in here, so I'm going to boil more hot water and then wait another 30 minutes for this packet. But we need to wait 30 minutes here, so let's change this to 30. Because this needs to cool some more before we put our other, our other crystals in. So another 30 minutes. Okay, I'll see you when this is done. So we've waited the 30 minutes on this solution and now comes the really fun part where we get to actually make the crystals. So for these colors here, you can see how we have the different seedling colors over here. We have the red, the blue, and the white. Red, blue, and white. So for this large crystal, I would like to do pink. So that's two red crystals and then two spoonfuls of red, two spoonfuls of white. If you wanted to do purple, you know, then there's two of red, two of blue, and I believe if you wanted to do blue, blue I probably would be uh, four spoonfuls of blue to get blue. And then we have light blue here, which is two white and two blue again. So you can see how those colors work there. Now when we go down to medium, it's only then one spoonful of each color if we wanted to, to mix colors. If we wanted blue, it would be a uh, it would be two blue spoons to get that blue color. But for purple, we've got one red, one blue. For pink, one red, one white. And I really like pink, so I'm gonna try to make the, the big crystal is gonna be pink first. And then for the small sized ones here, it's only half of a spoon, not a full spoon. And here's our spoon here. So only half of this spoon then for the small sized crystals, a full one for the medium and two of these for the large crystals. So I want to do a pink one. So that's two scoops of red, two scoops of white. So here we go. I've already cut these bags. Just be careful with the crystals. You don't want them to, to break or to fall everywhere. So there's one scoop there. So now what we do is we just sprinkle these over the top like so for these large crystals. Oh, look at that change in there. Here, let me get the camera closer. You can really see how that's changed color on us there. We get one more scoop here. And do not stir this. They do not want you to stir this. You want these to settle evenly throughout the bottom. So don't stick your, tap this to get some of those out. Don't stick your spoon in there and stir these around. So now for the white. Now for the white crystals here, you can really see those. 
So now let's mix those in here or sprinkle them in here. Okay, one more. Look at that, now that's going to turn into a pink crystal. So now what we do with this, once we have this here like that, we actually have to, uh, to wait two to three days and then we're going to check to see if the crystals grow. So I'll have an update video then two to three, uh, we'll, we'll do three days, three days from now. Now what they want you to, uh, or what they recommend that you do with this is they recommend that you put it in a relatively cool, kind of humid place. So they recommend, uh, to put this on top of the fridge on top of a refrigerator so that these crystals grow and handle these with care you don't want to mix them either because you want these to settle onto the bottom so now I know what these are these are to stop crystal climbing and they have a nice little picture here of crystal climbing and it's during the two to three day mark when the crystal solution will start to evaporate and actually cling to the sides of this container and there's a chance that it could spill over and since you, know, you can see how red this is since it's so red it'll actually stain whatever surface it hits so they want you to put these when you set this on your fridge first you have to set it on a paper towel so if it does spill over it's not going anywhere and then they want you to set this on top of that so that it stops the crystals from climbing up to the top so that's what these uh, that's what these little things are for here, to stop crystal climbing. So basically what we do with this now is we can set it on top of the fridge and we have to wait two to three days to check if the crystals are, are growing. And then if they are growing, then we wait another four days. We have to eventually wait a full seven days, so. So I will set this off to the side. I'll get the other crystals ready. And then I'll show you all the, uh, the color combinations that I've come up with. Okay, so here is our red. One scoop of red. Sprinkle that on the top. Again, do not stir this. It'll, it'll settle itself. And then one scoop of blue for purple. Oh, these, are, these are nice looking. Let's look at these first. Look at those. Those are really cool looking. Okay, let's dump in our blue. You want to sprinkle them over the top. Okay, let's do, let's do a, let's do a white one. So that would be two scoops of white then. So one scoop each since we're not doing colors. Let's dump in our white. Okay, so we're gonna have a white one and a purple crystal. Set these on top of your fridge. Okay, so here are the small crystals, or the small crystal kits. Now we've actually run out of white. So there's no more white left. But we do have red and we do have blue. So let's try making a blue crystal. Now because these are the smaller ones, we're only doing half scoops, but since we're doing a blue crystal, it's one full scoop for two halves here, so. And just sprinkle those around the top. Again, don't stir these. Look at that. And then let's do, uh, let's see. I mean, let's do another blue one. We'll have two, two small blue crystals here. And let's do half of this red and we'll do two purples, so half, half red in this guy, the other half in this one, and then the rest of these blues for a, a full scoop, so. So there's half of blue, and here's the other half. So we'll have two blues, two purples, uh, I think a pink, a large pink one, just get the rest in there. And I believe a white one. So now we have these. Well, you can see there's really changing colors there. Put these on top. 
So here we are on the fridge, and you can see there we have the pink, the, the very large pink crystal, white, blue, blue, and then three purples. So we will check back on these in three days to check their progress. And I will have an update video for that, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.